Art, craft and design is a, an important part of the national curriculum and it, it continues to be so because we live in this designed world, in, in a world in which the things that we see and interact with have been designed and that we need creative people to be able to, to do that. And by teaching children and young people art, we give them those tools and techniques to be able to be expressive and to be able to be creative and to be able to design those things that we have in, our, in the world around us. Everything that we interact with has, has in some way or another, been designed. Someone has taken time to draw and represent that thing and to say, this is how it should look. Art, craft and design allows people to express themselves in a wide range of often, but not always, visual forms. Art, craft and design teaches people to visualise in two and three dimensions, to problem solve and to find practical solutions. We can learn about our history and our culture, the stories that shape the society that we live in. But we can also learn about the cultures and stories and experiences of people from around the world to begin to see and to understand their world, their time, their experiences. Pupils need to be taught that practical knowledge, those skills, and then at every step to explore and to create, to play. This Practical knowledge should be practiced, not in repetition of the same activity, but in a myriad of ways that excite and enthuse. We should encourage pupils to find ways of expressing themselves and representing the world around them. Pupils should be taught about drawing and painting and sculpture with a wide range of media, but also digital media, printing, and a wide range of techniques, but also to have time to practice and to become proficient. Pupils should learn about art and artists from diverse cultures, not only from this country, but from around the world, and to learn about designers, artists, and craftspeople who work in a wide range of media.